Happy holidays and welcome back. We're out doing some ice fishing today. We got a nice setup of uh, six tip offs here. I'm out here with my dad and we're just out on a local mill pond here and just thought we'd get out at least one time pretty close to the holidays and my dad's still on vacation. So we're giving it a shot. I'm out here, we've caught quite a few sn snake northerns, a couple decent sized bass and we have a couple weird, weird random stories out here with jig pulls that if it gets slow, I might uh, let you in on a little bit of those secrets. So. All right, if anything happens, I'll let you know. All righty, first flag it was spinning when it first went up, and no one, oh, there it goes again. All right, so here we go. Like I said, it's about 26 inches or so. I'm not sure how much I got in the last uh, video because I had to set it down real quick so I could take the fish. So, I mean, here it is. I mean, I think it's probably 25. I'm just gonna let it go. Um, like I said, I was using jumbo minnows and it took off like a rocket, so. Hopefully if I get another one, I'll get more of the fight on camera. So, all right, here it goes. There you go. All right, so what we're using today, I mean, this is something I sort of rigged up myself. I'm just gonna see a lot of- Hold on, square in the box? Yes. What's that? <laughs> all right, so what, what I'm using today is something I sort of have rigged up myself. I mean, right now it's just a number two treble hook, nice and small. I mean, I got a couple beads to keep the blade here that I, I bought uh, just off of a knot and stuff. It's a little orange and orange and yellow. A couple more beads on top just to add a little more color. And then I have that on a 7-8 inch, uh, maybe a little bit longer than that, 50-pound uh, leader. This is fluorocarbon just because it helps with a little abrasion resistance, abrasion resistance. Uh, uh, but then what I was doing is I was grabbing some of our minnows. I mean, it was actually one of the first times I actually got some pretty decent size ones. I mean, this one's a little bit smaller than the one I used, but what I did is I took the top of the tail, just pinched that off a little bit, and so it can't kick away as fast, but it still has some movement. I like it, I like it a little bit. And I hook it just below the top of the back, so when I pull, it'll still rip out, and it'll be able to hook it much better. Since we're only fishing two through feet of ice, or water below the ice here, I'm pretty much bringing it right up to the top of the leader. I don't have to worry about that too much or anything like that. Sending it on the white side just because if I break off the tail, it doesn't have it, it's not as strong enough to pull to set the flag off on the tail. So. Alright, I'll take this here for a second. And then the guy back here behind us, he actually has a flag too. Right about there, see if he gets anything. Oh, I'm not gonna stare, so I'll let you know if he catches something in my next video. So all right, peace. All right, so I was walking out to check tip ups for my dad to make sure we didn't have any weeds because it's pretty shallow here. So both of his don't have any weeds on them and walking out to his third tip up and here we are sitting here. Take quite a while to catch a, catch a fish on this one considering it's still all bundled up and not in the hole, so. It's a lot easier to catch them if they're in the water, so gotta get this one set up. All right, it's got another flag. I was spinning a little bit ago as I was walking up to it, and looks like she's not moving too much now again. So I'll give her a second, then I'll pass the phone off to the dad while I do it. Oh, the other tip up uh, that the other guy was at, he caught it. It was just another little snake, a little bit smaller than mine. So. Alrighty, I'm gonna give her a check and pass the phone off to the dad. It's off to the side, so there's something took it. I'm just gonna do a little late. Yeah, there's something there. Ah, oh, dang it. Got it off into the weeds and took the minnow. Oh, well, took out. 10 feet of line or so, not even. Alright, so one of our neighbors got a flag. I'll be the creeper and perform the whole day. Do their tip up and they're probably trying to get away from me. I'm not sure if you can see it. About to hop down to the knees. Guys, we got another flag, but this is on. Oh, it's spinning a little bit. I can watch it. 
Oh, and stop, look, we made it to the same weed bed as the other one did. Hopefully it's a fish instead of a minnow trip, because we've been a good probably about an hour since our last flag, which is also this tip up, so. Oh, dang it, I can see the minnow through the ice. You can see it right through here. Let's see a couple flags. No fish this time. No nesting right now, We got ourselves an eagle. Usually they're good luck. Not so much today, just a couple flags, one fish. Decent sized fish though. Alrighty, well, we're giving it about an hour more here, maybe 45 minutes now. We're gonna pack up at 12.30 and get back home. I mean, we got some stuff to do and get the Packer game later today, so. Hopefully we can get another flag before then, before we start packing up, but if not, I'll see you guys later, and this is how I'm gonna end it. Peace. Alrighty, last tip up, I'm guessing of the day. I mean, it's been pretty slow. Oh man, he took off like a rocket. There you go, got him. <laughs> Same hole that I've had. Another fish out of. Yeah, oh, it's just a little snap on the ground. <laughs> Here we go, little guy. This is fish. Really, really chunky. Man, let's flip over. There you go. Get that good old field flare. Boom. This one's definitely smaller than the last one, but it's a nice little fish. <laughs> let's get him on the hook quick. Definitely don't think this one's over 25 or 26, whatever the keeping size is out here. Usually I don't like to keep them, but man, of course clamp down super tough, super hard. He's really gonna make me pull out the jaw spreaders. So we'll look about 24, 25. We'll measure them with the game now. Okay, 24, maybe 25. Just dunk him back and send him on his way. Oh. Fish doesn't know where to go. There you go, little guy. Big strong kickoff. There we go. That's number two and. I don't even know if I'm going to put this tip up back in. We're just about to start picking up. So, until next time, see ya.